good morning, everybody. Nick here Thanks, from Comic Culture. Man. I have my special guest, Stu, Dr. Doom's fan club in the house. What's going on, Stu? How What's you been up, this brother? I'm good, man. Uh, ready yeah. to talk uh, this this next month of comics with you on this beautiful Sunday morning. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like to do the intro, my <clears throat> put my little intro up because it's so loud that it wakes people up. It's almost like coffee. So <laughs> it does. I did it with her Herm and it like scared the hell out of him, I think. And so I was like, dude, I'm going to keep it because it's abrasive, right? Yeah. So I might, as well, it's the, might as well get that going morning, there. Morning, morning time intro. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It really gets the blood pumping for sure. It does. So um, I know James is already in here. What's going on, James? James Thanks up, for brother? coming in, dude. Station. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, all right, we're going to wait for some more folks to come in. Uh, we're going to do the monthly uh, look ahead. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at League of Comic Geeks. We're going to see what is coming out. It's probably the best resource for um, just like, you know, pull lists and seeing what's coming out, yeah, different variant covers, or release dates. I know you use it a lot, right? I do. It is my main resource when I'm doing either like new releases. I use it a lot, especially when we're doing our monthly comic review. It's a great way. Yeah. To go back like week by week and and kind of like calibrate everything but yeah just a just a, a fantastic resource one of my favorite yeah games. and you know if you're if you have a comic shop that does not have um like electronic pull system they offer one so you might want to let them know that it's available it has some issues and they may have resolved it since then but uh that's like an option so you can check that out too yeah absolutely to kind of digitalize everything i love that and like how they said they'll email you your pull list and yeah you know, yeah all that <laughs> We right. used to use it. The, the The biggest problem they had with it was they um, would allow you to add and remove things past FOC, which really screws up your shop. I don't know if they fix that, but if they have, then great. But you're right. Like every, what was it? Like every Sunday or Monday night, you would get an email of all the books that you had on your pull list with the total. Yeah. And if you knew your shop discount, they would also put that at the bottom too. So you know what you're going to spend that week. Oh, wow. So, that's awesome. See, I yeah. didn't even know. That. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That, we got Verno in the chat. Blood Splatter yeah. Chatter. What, what is up, going brother? on? I know we have Michigan. Eric in the chat. Nine panel. Yeah. I got my coffee right here, too. I'm going to be sipping it for a little <laughs> breaks every once in a while. Hmm. So good. First cup of the day, man. Oh, man Everyone's saying hi to each other. We got Big Herm in here. What is going on, dude? Herm, what up, brother? I know we have dynamite in here as well. Station, good morning, good morning. Oh, Everyone's saying cool. hi. Cool. Dude, let's jump into it, man. So April is going to be an interesting month because, um, you know, oh, I yeah. feel like it's up, it's like aligning with like springtime, you know? It's like new comics, fresh storylines, things bro. like that, hopefully. Yeah. So let's get into it. I do have a video on how to use this. So if you do not know how to use League of Comic Geeks, you can go into my channel, go to my straight, playlist, straight how to get into comics today. Yep. And then you can actually see that in there as well. So what we're going to do is go to League of Comic Geeks, go to New Comics, switch the calendar to April. We're going to go to April 3rd, right across the top there. And then you're going to see all the, the books. And I think they're in order of like popularity. I'm not entirely sure. But if you don't like that, you yeah. can actually change the uh, the settings and stuff like that over here. So let's go across the top. Are you in the alien stuff? I'm not, man. It is not my bad. No. Like, I, I, I would be down to read a good. I know some great writers have been on on the book before, and I would be down to read a good yeah. series, but it's not something I would like going. Yeah, make, me neither. Make, make my, you know, make sure I, I try. Up. I tried to dip into it recently. It just didn't work for me. But what else is going on? American Psycho. I read number American one. Psycho, I didn't really. Did yeah. you? I heard good things. Didn't Robbie have good things? I thought Robbie had good. I don't know. I think so, but you I know those guys. Movie. They're in the horror, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. into that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's like aliens. I, I wouldn't check it out, but I don't know. Yeah. It's, good it's there. People are going to like it. Nick, you forgot to add custom showcase to your pull list. You're welcome. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Is that a book? I, th I think he's trolling me right now on some other books that are, that are may or may not be on my pull list. So here's Avengers issue number 12. I dropped it. Are you dropping <laughs> yeah, that one? I'm a, yeah. I've been out for a minute, man. I'm, yeah, I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Is. Batman, that's a, that's I'm always gonna pull that. Definitely, always always reading Batman, no matter what. What else up here? Anything else? You're um, reading? Scooby Doo, Birds no. of Prey, Blue Beetle. Birds of Prey, I like dabble with. I go back and forth, but that's not like an every uh, a pull like a constant pull. You know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of like the, in the same vein that um I, I did end up reading like all of her the call, but like I don't know, I'm kind of back and forth on that book. Mm -hmm. Not as I'm not as constant as I'd like to be. How about you? Are you reading that one? Thoroughly? No, I checked out the first issue. I'll give I'll give most things a shot for the first issue, but if I'm not immediately gelling with it after issue one or even remotely excited for issue number two, I'm probably just going to drop it. There's just too many books out there, you know? Yeah, 
I, I can't do that. And you and I both read a lot, so it's like it's got to yeah. be good because we're spending so much time reading things anyways that we've pretty much narrowed down our pull list over time to things yeah, that we at least think are decent or better. Yeah, absolutely. I know Taki's getting Blue Beetle, most likely. Um, yeah, that's for about sure. it for that row. Yeah. What do we got down here? Captain America. That's a book I fell off of. I'm gonna keep reading it. I'm I'm not I'm not like off of it, off of it. Like I'm not caught up, but I'm gonna keep reading it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm Crave it issue time. number five. Are you into Crave? I'm I, not. I was reading it. It it was kind of like it was kind of interesting, but once you realize the gimmick of like the AI on the phone and how it was like manipulating people's situations to so they can like essentially hook up, it was like, right. man, this is kind of it's not as deep as I was hoping it was going to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm like, yeah, eh, kind of. Yeah, I know. Off, I, know but... I heard it was spicy, but that's all I really heard about it. Yeah. 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 Oh, so he was saying custom showcase. Ah, number one. That's what Eric was referring to. <laughs> okay. Dude, again, I'm, I'm two sips into my first coffee for the day. So you're going to have to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah, dude, we're going to get to that hit one in oh, a minute, yes. I'm sure. Hell yeah. I can't wait for All that. right. So that was Crave. What do we got? Deadpool number one. I'll get it for 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 giggles, man. I'll check it out. Probably gonna pass on that. I checked out the first two issues of Deep Cuts. I like that enough to. Um, what issue is that of Deep Cuts? Six. Okay. All right. Wow. Yeah. So I'm way behind on that, but I like the first two, and uh, I thought they were pretty good. That's I think kind, I read have, you read, have you checked those out? It's like they're kind of like different. They're each different, like standalone stories, but they're mm. you know revolve around. Um, these kind of like musical journeys of these uh you know musicians and uh ones down in um in new orleans set in new orleans like uh early jazz age it's pretty it was pretty dope. yeah wasn't the first one wasn't the first one focused on a kid and he was trying to get into the business and he was getting into some shady folks and they were giving him some yeah. stage time but maybe not and it was weird yeah i think i remember that now yeah yeah um dr strange number 14 a book that i fell off of but i'm, I'm hearing it's still pretty good same I don't know. I'm I'm in the exact same boat with you, but like 14 is a weird number because it's like it's the the, the commitment to get caught up is it's, it's not uh, staggering. Well, I was gonna say it's not huge, but it's it's big enough to go I, like oh, God. I fell really? off at like three or four, and I liked his yeah. his death of Doctor Strange stuff and all the stuff leading up to that. I kind of was like, you know, all in on that, and I was all in when the series first dropped, but I just fell off for whatever reason and like. For me, I think I was at like four or five. Fourteen is like, yo, I'm, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm pissed. I, I missed out. Like that's another one. I know I'm, I'm gonna kick myself going down the line because it's Alex Ross covers, and I should just keep that, you know, regardless. Yeah. Like, but yeah. yeah, and they're so good too. I, I, I'm they like you. I, I got somewhere in the bottom five, and then for some reason I fell off of it. I may, maybe it was because didn't I could have sworn a lot of this Doctor Strange stuff came out when the movie came out when Multiverse of Madness came out. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I was like, why are they killing Doctor Strange as soon as the movie's coming out? Like that's a weird marketing yeah, it thing. Was. Anyways, it, yeah, I, I know Eric's reading that too. So um, it, yeah. it, it's a series I want to catch up on, but who knows if I ever will. Right. It's a, it's a regret, like you said. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, new one from Scout the Dusk. Don't know. Don't know much about it, but they have a new number one. Uh, the is Scout fall. the one that was in that hot water in the past week or two with not, not paying their creators? Or is that somebody else? Um, You might be right. You might be right. Okay. I can't remember. Yeah. Somebody I'm fact curious, check us. Curious as to uh, yeah, Alex Ross art covers. That's right, Verna. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the branding. Mm -hmm. the, uh, he's like Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> just I know. Later. I know we have some folks that are joining the fog right now. So we have issue number two from Massive. Um, one of my biggest, you know, most anticipated books of the week, obviously, is Geiger. I think we're going to have we're gonna have three new titles in the next month or something like that. So Hell starting yeah. off with Geiger. Can't wait. Definitely excited. I'm so excited for the Ghost Machine stuff. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. Uh, what else? We have Ghost Man. Lore. What is that? Colin Bunn. Yeah. Grim is still going. Wow. Grim is on 16, dude. Holy hell. That's yeah. crazy. I think I fell off somewhere around five or six. Same. I can't remember. The artwork was crazy in that, but it just, the story yeah. was like, what are we doing? And I then, like the, yeah. Nico Renze or, or, no, I forget who. I think it was like Flaviano or something. It was like some, it was uh, like a one name artist or something, but like the, mm. I, I really enjoyed it. The interiors. Oh, I wonder if it's that, that's that name you mentioned. 
I don't know. Um, once Frozen stopped, stopped doing covers, I was like, well, I'm, I don't really enjoy the series and I'm not really enjoying the, <laughs> yeah. the covers after the fact. Yeah. It's Jimmy's like, gone, yeah. you're gone. I hear you. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. So we're going to keep going down. Let's see. Anything else in that row? I don't think so. Let's go. All right. We have Gunslinger Spawn. We have Hackslash. Hackslash is a series. I, I, from what I understand, it's been like a long time running thing. The Hackslash series in general. Um, I was just introduced to it with the Zoe Thorogood run and, um, you know, we all got to start somewhere, but like, as I, all I can see now is hack slash is I guess what I'm getting at. It's like, once you read something and you're aware of it, all of a sudden it starts showing up everywhere. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I'm like you, I was, I wasn't familiar with the old stuff, but recently I coined it and it, I enjoyed it. We read it for, yeah. I think Link picked it for a couple issues of Supreme Clientele. I've, I've enjoyed it. Though. Yeah, yeah, dude. Check it out. Yeah. And, um, speaking of Link. I think we're going to have another member of the Bad Batch on here hey. real quick. The the uh, second member of Supreme Clientele about to join us right here. What's going hey, on, Steph? How you doing, man? Good morning. Good to see you, man. Yep, yep. Mm. Did you see me? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I saw, you, I, saw... Mm -hmm. I saw you going for your mic and stuff. I'm, like, I'm going to give him a minute, get him settled. And he's gonna I am it. still figuring that out, but what's going on, brothers? What's up, dude? Thanks for joining, man. We are just running through the first couple of weeks of April, seeing what we're interested in, seeing what's coming out, and uh, just kind of giving the folks some thoughts. If we read some of the previous issues, what we're excited for, things like that. We're on this row here. We're talking about Kaya, man. Kaya is a book that all I hear is good things about on the monthly comic book review show over at Robbie's channel. And um, I know like Manny's reading it, I think. I think uh, Greg is reading it too, Bearded Comic Bro. Anybody else? Are you guys reading Kaya? Yeah. Manny put yeah. me on from yeah. Supreme Clientele, dude. That's when I I first like we, I got caught up for the most part for our um our episode. And then I kept I kept reading afterwards. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Shout out it, to Manny. Got it. Mm -hmm. Steph, you catching up on it or try or need to? All right. So let's go. We have Neil Before Zod, a book that I I read issue number one. It was fine. I just didn't want to continue going on with it. Um, Last Mermaid, issue oh, number yeah. two. I know issue number one was Robbie's pick of the week. I think it was like in my top three to four. So definitely a cool story. Yeah, I enjoyed you, that one a lot. You checked that one out? Yeah. yeah. Her in that little mech suit. and, and Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was really, the artwork was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those ones that came from nowhere, like beneath the trees, I feel like. I had, yeah. that book was not on my radar whatsoever, but just a yeah, fantastic uh, opening chapter. Didn't uh, so it's Derek Kirk Kim. That's the that's the I think the writer artist name on that. I want to say in the back of that book he was talking about how he was writing this for a long time. It maybe it didn't get traction or something like that, and it finally got published, and he's like so happy about it. So that's it's cool. one of those cool stories where absolutely you know yeah. somebody's trying and they finally get their little break. You know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Life is an Open Door. That's a critical entertainment book that I read and reviewed a couple of months or maybe like a month ago. So that's going to be out now. So you can check that out. It's a cool little like slice of life. Don't get caught up in the day to day mundane corporate life. You know, enjoy your time okay. while you have it kind of a book. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh, Minor Threats. Wow. Yeah, Love Everlasting is around still. Wow, <laughs> it's 14 issues long. <laughs> Did not see that coming. No. Nope. Minor threats with the new number one, the fastest way down from Patton Oswald and a bunch of people. Jordan right. Blom. Yeah, his little thing. Yeah. I know they're trying to build build a universe or a, you know, a whole world over there. So shout out yeah. to them. Yeah. Yeah, I heard the same thing. I saw a post with a bunch of people's names and then Patton Oswald's face and stuff. So yeah, they're trying over there. It was a it was okay. It was Yeah. I don't hard. know what it was about it. It was a book that I can't quite articulate why I didn't like it, but there was certain things I liked and certain things I didn't. Fair enough. Let's see. What do we got? Mortal Terror, My Hero Academia, One Hand, number three. We're yes. probably both getting that. Definitely get that. Yeah. Yep. Rom V, the uh, companion book to Dan Waters, Six Fingers. I love that idea, man. That's so dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't wait to see how they get, how they're going to actually crisscross eventually. Right. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. Dan's book feels like it's set in the past because it's like the, it's like the, the rise of this person, but it could be the rise of this iteration of the killer. And then, but he's already killing people and he's not in the, in Dan's book, but he is in Rom's book. So it's right. like, wait, yeah. at some point they're going to have to bring yeah. those two together. It's going to be so, good. uh, poison Ivy power Rangers. 
Anything else up here? Uh, Poison Ivy was a book I was reading. Uh, first couple arcs, but I fell off. Fell me too. Off, falling off for, for quite a while now. Yeah, me too. All right, let's go. So Red Sonia, <clears throat> but we have Red Coat issue number one and Rook Exodus number one. The other two oh, books wow. from, the, yeah, I know, all in the same week. I that's was mistaken awesome. when I thought it was coming out like a month later. I forgot yeah. it's all in the same week. Wow, that's great. So I will say that Faybox art inside of Rook is in insane. It's 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 I really really cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, interiors and uh, a monthly comic again, dude. I think he he's he's so talented to me. I love that guy. Rook Rook might not be a monthly, from what I understand. Oh, I damn. think that I think he's going to. Yeah, I think he's just it just takes forever, you know, with yeah. him. Like you know, like I think that's how we were we were talking about it in the bag chat a couple yeah. weeks ago, like what the holdup is because it's it's so consistent. Like three jokers is not a weak line in the whole book, but yeah, right, yeah, I can, I can yeah. see him. I can see him being like one of those time consuming type artists. I remember dur during one of the calls they were, they were saying that Redcoat would be monthly, Geiger would be monthly, and then Rook would be. I think they would give him the time he needs to just make a good book, right? Okay. So, is he I, writing that one too, or mm -mm, no? Okay, no. So, so that's John's. Is that John? Yeah. So that? John's is doing the writing, okay. and then Faybox doing the art, and then we have Brad, obviously Anderson on the color. He's doing colors on like everything right now. I think he's pretty much doing. He's like the sole colorist on all the yeah. Geiger stuff. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. One week, Ghost Machine really go ahead and destroy that wallet. Yep. <laughs> That's why that's it. I made that little reel for it. And I got it. thank you, by the way, again, of for course, uh, for course. getting that on the radar, dude. Because as Absolutely. soon as it did, man, it blew up. So I appreciate oh, yeah. that. Absolutely. It was so cool. It was, it was a great reel. Um, what else we got? Shazam, Sickness, Spider Man, Star Wars, anything popping up? No, not really. No, me neither. All right. More some more TMNT stuff, Saturday morning adventures, Titan. Oh, torpedo oh, trouble on mars of course the conclusion the finale i'm i'm almost scared to read it man i'm gonna cry like a baby I already <clears throat> yeah, me too because good. like where does it go right like oh. he's in the, in the, a couple of issues ago he essentially gave up right like his mission was a farce in a way yes and then he was led to his inevitable death anyways right he was gonna die in, on earth that's just the same so like I don't know what I don't know what that redemption looks like. I don't know what you do to. No, I just um, know it's going to be a brutal gut punch. Oh, of a, just the the journey yeah. we've taken with this guy and um, the insight we've gotten into his life, man. To yeah, bring it all home. Eleven, such an odd number to, but hey, it is what it is. This has been yeah my favorite my favorite book of like the past year or so. Yeah, and like the covers too have been so great. All the homage covers, they've been so That's good. That's fire! I yeah. love that, dude. Yeah, they got the I gotta best get covers. That one. That's great. Yeah. Even go check this book out if you are not. Traveling yeah. to Mars, Mark Russell. Mm hmm Yeah. All these old Marvel homage covers too. Like it's it's really, really good. All right. So that's definitely the best. That's one of my favorite books uh right now. So that's gonna be my one of my highest anticipated ones besides Geigerverse. But um I think we got Link back. Link, you ready to get back? Try to jump back on there, Bub. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Boom. He's back. What up, dude? Sorry, I was I'm good now. You're good, man. Good. You're good. You're good. I, All right. I, I, um, traveling to Mars. That's the one I've been putting off. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a, I feel like I've been hearing about that. It's, what's the uh, issue eleven? It's the last issue. Issue yeah, eleven. Finale, issue brother. 11. <clears throat> oh, yeah, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would definitely check it out as a trade or something like that. Or absolutely, yeah, it's it's really really good. Brilliant. Um, let's see, Usagi, man, I jumped into probably four different mini series for Usagi, like you know, of threes or whatever, and um, they've been fine, they've been charming, but like, there's never any like moment of clarity or huge excitement in them. They've just been fun and charming. So we have another one. May I don't know if I'm going to pick it up or not. Are you guys Usagi fans or similar experiences? I'm I'm like a ha I'm a like half in half out Usagi fan. Like I always yeah. enjoy the stories, but I don't have like a I have like a, tr a trade or two, but I don't have a crazy amount of the collection. And mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed that Fire and Ice one. We read, I think mm -hmm. Link and I read it for when you I think you picked it for our our uh, episode of Supreme Clientele. But I, I think I enjoyed mm -hmm. that one. But yeah, it's been I don't know. It's been a minute since I've read some. Yeah. Yeah. 
Steph, what about you, man? Do you read any Usagi? I read a little bit. Um, I've got like one or two issues in my collection. Uh, I've read yeah. like one trade, but I'm familiar with them. Just never been a big fan. I mean, I don't not not a fan, but um, never been on my radar like that. Yeah, I think I liked it because there, he was part of the Turtles, right? Like he was. There's some crossover there as a yeah, kid, yeah. so I'm like, oh, there he is, right? And I'm like, yeah, we'll check it out. But I don't know. We got Fable in the house. With Station, the Supreme bro. clientele boys. Yep, they're taking over. Hey. <laughs> Station, man. Thanks for coming in. What else we got? We got Vengeance of Moon Knight number four. So this is like, so he stops making the Moon Knight run. He starts with the new Vengeance of Moon Knight number one. And it's been pretty good so far. We have a mysterious Moon Knight. He's coming in. He's fighting all the Midnight Mission folks. And if you're not reading Moon Knight, the actual Midnight Mission, the building itself is its own entity. It's its own creature or whatever that Moon Knight used as like his base right he found it he rescued it and he uses it as his base even the midnight mission kicked out this new moon knight i think in one of the previous issues maybe number two or three and so we don't even know who it is yet but here we got issue number four so i don't know it's just kind of like dragging on and on and on to be honest so with um you. yeah i'm a little behind is mm -hmm. is mark specter dead oh. yeah he was killed he was killed in the run leading up to this from what I understand. So the, I've gone okay. from this this series has gone from man like I'm so glad that Marvel is letting like you know Moon Knight get to episode you know issue 29 or whatever and then they rebranded it and now it's like slowly becoming like something I'm just like kind of yeah. like where are we going with this? It's just kind of getting I don't know. I feel like man they they're they're putting a lot on McKay's back, dude. That man yeah. is carrying a ton of weight for Marvel mm -hmm. and I I just worry about his. I mean, he's going to be a writing Avengers. Is he going to be writing writing Avengers and X Men at the same time, along with all, Strange? Hopefully and not. And all this other stuff, right? We'll have to. I, I don't think that'd that. be a good. Idea. No, I don't think so either. It's just too much to. And I, I, I wouldn't want that as a creator. Avengers. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think it's been. You know, I I dipped out of issue three. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it seems like it's been. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. So I hopefully it's like yeah. a different creative team switch if they're not. Um, I don't think that would be good for Avengers or X Men if he was no. writing both. That's much. way too much. Yeah, he's much he's got work. credits on Avengers fifteen. He's got credits on Avengers fifteen it coming out in June, and Doctor Strange in June. So we I'm not sure when those X books are going to be dropping, but he's got it. And, and League only goes so far, right? So at least until June, he's on both Avengers and Doctor Strange. Damn. I guess and he's like the blood hunt thing coming up is his deal dealio. Or oh really? Oh, I think so. <laughs> and he's also on he's also on this Moon Knight until June, so he's got Man, three different Marvel lot. books at that's least. Lot, yeah, yeah, that is a lot. But um, let's see, Void Rivals number eight. I think we're all reading that, right? Oh that's yeah, a great, great that's book. a great series. Yep, that's a great series. I'm worried that it's gonna get like. I don't know where the high, like the high for that series for me was issue number one like that. That's like the high. And it's always been like trying to get back to that level, but it's never going to beat that like shock reveal of what's going on and what universe it's part of for me. So like, I'm wondering, like, it's a book for me that like never has any highs or lows. It's just like a constant plateau Stay. all the way across. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's very, you know, I don't know. I don't feel anything after I read it. I'm just like, yep, it's still good. You know? So, yeah, yeah, it hasn't had any like whoa, like crazy cliffhanger yeah. type because it's all like I feel like every issue is a new introduction into a character, or a yeah, asset of the universe. So, like, you're constantly learning, and it's so hard to, I don't know, maybe like down the line, True. we'll get some really big once we're fully invested with these and we know more, yeah. And they need to develop this world because it's the world that we know least about. Yeah. In this energon universe and like they yeah. have to make us care about the characters and so far the only characters i really care about are the pop-up easter egg characters and, and android um, yeah android is the best yeah oh and android's best any 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 sentient companion is the best in any yes. anything you know what i mean like we see That's that so everywhere true. And it's always the best part of the book. Right? Like I was just thinking of uh, Daniel Warren Johnson's Better Bill, like the scuttlebutt, the ship is yeah, just like, yeah. I love that relationship they have. It's so good. Right. Or in um, what's that barbarian, but uh, not Berserker. Um, is it Berserker? No. Barbaric. Barbaric. Thank you. The axe, right? Like yeah, the axe yeah. is the funniest part. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at oh. your comics and half of them will have that character in it. 
and they're always the funny they're always <laughs> the comedic element right absolutely so, yeah yeah smash that like right there thank you bob okay. appreciate you i hope i didn't miss anybody in the chat there i don't think i'm I think i keep an eye on that all right that's the first week so pretty good week man i mean we yeah. have some decent stuff um for me the we, highlights are going to be ghost machine yeah ghost machine and traveling to mars are probably my biggest ones oh yeah absolutely yeah how about immortal is that immortal right, thor is anybody still reading that immortal thor out there in tv land I'm curious. Off. no i'm curious if, if that's still that's a great man, cover. what a cover dude jesus yeah God. Yeah, that's really good. Is it yeah. um for Ghost Machine? Is it just Geiger this week? Or are they doing <laughs> no, dude. It's Geiger, Redcoat, oh. and uh, Rook Exodus. Yeah, They're all in week one. Yep. Oh, that's wow. right. Yeah, that's I, I heard you talk about him. Uh, yeah, this past week. So we got we got Rook, and then we got Redcoat. So Je Jeff Johns is writing all of it, and Brian Hitch is on this one with Brad Anderson, and then Faye Box on this one with Brad Anderson gonna be yeah i think it's gonna yeah. be a great week for them yeah for sure i'm so hyped to see geiger back <clears throat> oh yeah it's gonna be a good one all right let's go on to week number two we only have we only have four sometimes they have like a sneaky fifth right but we're not gonna be doing that this month yeah. so action comics action's a cool run like if you're in the bizarro we just came out of a cool little bizarro arc um and so you know i don't know if you guys are reading action or not yeah. but it's... i read i love jason aaron so i'm always well he's, he's switching now. out now He's switching out now. He was only on for the first few issues. Right. So now it's going to be Williamson. So yeah, but you're right. Oh, uh, okay. So Aaron's Williamson first... is doing action <laughs> and Superman? Apparently. Yeah. In League We Trust, right? So, and it has Williamson on the title too, so. I feel yeah. like McKay and Williamson are two <laughs> exclusive DC Marvel writers that are extremely Overworked. overused. Absolutely. Yeah. Who does Very it better, true. do we think? Reach. Who who, <laughs> who who can work under a deadline and stretching himself and running? I say Josh, dude. Josh is a freaking animal. Like as far as like I, making like I I really don't like none of his books have like blown me away. I think we've talked about this before, but like that man, that man, he puts in the work. Like he's got he's got plenty of books out. So McKay's had some good stuff, but it's more um sporadic, I guess. I would say uh, Williamson has been a little bit more consistent in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, like what he did with the Flash run, you know, I, I mm -hmm. remember picking up like the first 14 issues when it was coming out and I dropped it for a number of years. And like when I came back, it was like I came back for a brief period when it was about to end for like Dark Knight's Death Metal. And yeah. I was like, oh, shit, he's still writing it. You know, that's it's very rare in this day and age. So in terms yeah. of the consistency, I'd say Williamson. Um, yeah, I agree. I think josh was the man when when really dc dc had nobody else he really i feel like he i, I hope he's always I, I hope his name is always you know cash money there because he really mm -hmm. stepped up for them i think in a in a time when yeah. you know snyder was gone and johns was doing the entertainment Johnson. division and they were kind of yeah. like rudderless they didn't have that star guy and he came in and you know really i feel like took the reins and held, held him down during a, a rough patch yeah i would agree for all those points <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that's what i have in my mind yeah at least williamson at least josh it feels like his stories are going somewhere there's like a, a beginning middle and end with mckay's stuff it's like you never really know where it's going and there's it never ends it always just evolves into something else and then you know it's hard to put bookends on his stuff where it's easier to put bookends yeah. on joshua's stuff i think um one book i'm looking forward to is the man uh, the batman first night number two that was a great number one oh, yeah. i think it was my pick of the week that week just because of the the way it was written it was so cool yeah steph you should check that one out bro that was a great book I forgot that, yeah. that one for you. it's it's like uh it's batman Bat, batman first night issue i want to say two. mike perkins it's, is writing it perkins or, is on art and dan Jurgens Perkins is, is on art. Writing. yeah i'm sorry yeah yeah and it's it's, it's like a year it's like a year two batman set during the depression era in yeah. gotham so it is oh, the depression okay. era and it's like a year one year two year three batman perkins does a great he did a yeah thorough thoroughly great job on that book yep yep and then we have a few more batman books batman and robin we're always gonna what's have that, a what's that other books. one in between uh dylan dog number two. Oh, so that's the one by um <clears throat> i think that's junie junie boz uh book isn't it or am I roberto oh my uh, rush yeah. wrote i don't know i don't know what's that name uh, uh junie boz got like a robin book coming out i think maybe we'll run into it or beneath the trees where nobody sees Pfft, yes. come on 
one of the best books out there. I know you guys are reading that. Absolutely. Uh, issue number five. How long is this going? Do you think? What What, 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 are, we, what are we doing here? Forever. We have six on the. Yeah, I was tempted to buy. It. I could tell. I knew it was going to be a limited, but I wouldn't mind it if it was like twelve issues. You know. It's, yeah, it's uh, cool. so much fun. Such a great book. Yeah, looks like it's going to end at six, so we have a couple more issues to go. So so genius, just the way they marry that like Richard Scary Berenstein Bears aesthetic with the the content of the story. It's just so good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the best. What else we got coming out over here? Betty and Veronica, Bombshell, Cabinet, Carnage. Nothing sticking out to me that I'm picking up. Uh, let's see. This uh, Dark Spaces Dungeon, I heard Scott Snyder, he was on that interview with Horvath, speaking of Horvath, on uh, Comic Pop. And he was going on and on, you know, about th their different writing styles and horror and things like that. And it was a cool conversation. It's not a book I'm getting. I read the first issue, I think, of some of the Dark Space stuff, but... Sure. Not continuing it. So, where did do you know where any other work by Horvath or like where he came from or mm -mm. what his story is? Like, it just kind of came out of nowhere with this one. Yeah, he's only credited with. Why is he credited for Ha Ha and Ice Cream Man? That's interesting. Did he do a cover, right? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, he did. He did the cover for Ha Ha. That's fire. And, um, let's see. And Ice Cream Man. I mean, that looks like Mirazzo to me. It does. It really yeah, it does. does. The eyes and stuff like this might totally not be does. accurate. I'm not sure. Oh, here it is. That's more like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So only like a couple covers and yeah, yeah. This story in this. Wow. I mean, that's all that's credited on League. Yeah. Good for him, man. It needs yeah, to be absolutely. an animated R-rated oh, like for serial. Sure. Like, yeah, that would be so yeah, sick. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would be amazing. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, we got some Spider-Verse stuff. We got Fantastic Four. Great cover for Fantastic Four. That's another one like we were talking about with Doctor Strange, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be so pissed when, once that's all said and done. Like, looking yeah. back over Immortal Hulk type deal, like, damn, why didn't I stay on yeah. this Yeah, I know. And then I look at my shelves behind me, and I'm like, I'm out of spacers. <laughs> you know, so it's like... I, I'm oh, surrounded I'm gonna, by comics. I'm surrounded by just goodness, right? Um, let's see. We have Green Lantern. Hercules number one. You guys into those Disney number ones? You know, what? I really, I might check that out. Hercules is actually, it's not the best start. It's one of my favorite Disney um, animated movies. I know it's not um, by no means the best, but yeah, there's, yeah. it's like one of the last greats of in terms of Disney animation before they kind of went 3D or, and, um, yeah, yeah. I've always been fine. Hercules. I'll check it banger, out. Some banger songs in that one too, didn't they? Yeah. yeah yep they Nicole. had the um the i forget the chicks on the the pots you know they're always the um busting out to like uh what i would not aretha franklin songs but damn it, it's gonna yeah. bug me i can't think of their names now you guys know what i'm talking about though yeah yeah, oh, yeah. they're call they're calling this one negative space which is not negative space get out of here man come <laughs> on <laughs> Like yeah. anything with a solid anything, anything with a solid, solid background yeah, yeah, yeah that matches the uh <laughs> their outfit is a negative space though. uh rookie mistake <laughs> never never click on the title while you're on the main tab that you're browsing through the title because when you hit <laughs> yeah, back, oh take my back God. to the current week oh, so, yeah that's a rookie you gotta mistake. yeah open it in a new tab man because yep 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 I, that's yeah, one thing i do about it, I yeah um all right so we have incredible hulk uh, I hate Fairyland. I can't believe I hate Fairyland still going on, but I guess that's wow. like a yeah, that's insane. But um, so I, what mm -hmm. what volume is that? Because I know he that's like I know he ended the it's, first volume after like ten issues. It's the second volume, from yeah. what I understand. Yeah. Wow. Um, I've heard. I think Robbie or somebody say like consistently good things about this though. So I never it's, hated I feel it. Like, or, yeah. 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 I, I think I read all the way until issue eight or something like that, and it was fine. Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. I can't really tell you why I fell off. It's an acquired taste. Just, yeah. Yeah. But I think Scotty's a great writer, though. I mm -hmm. thought Strange Academy was like such a freaking great book. So that's a I, book I didn't give enough chance to. I, I collected oh, them man. and I, I fell off and then I stopped collecting them. And then I think I picked up like the gaslight issue because it was some spec to it. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. 
Man, the character work in that was phenomenal. You still have them? I still have my, I have the Virgin variant um, J. Ooh. Scott Campbell autographed in the middle with the yeah. COA on, on there. Hey, I what? sold issue one cover A and I have issue two. Yeah, about say, they're worth a pretty penny now, aren't they? Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Scotty Young Virgin variant with the autograph, or Scotty Young. That uh, J. Scott Campbell autograph with the COA from his store is worth a little bit. So oh, yeah, I'll hang yeah. on to that for a while. Um, what else are we reading over here? Nothing. Nothing really. All right. Napalm Lullaby, Rick Remender. That was an like, interesting number one. Let's see what the world does in issue number two. I got it yesterday. I still haven't read it yet. Yeah, it's a good Yeah, I, I got to check it out. Yeah. Eric read it too. You can check out his reviews as well um, over at Nine Panel Grid. Yeah. See what he thinks about it. Um, let's see. Miss Marvel, Mutant Menace. I read it. It's fine. There's. It, it doesn't sound like anything that I would be super interested in, but like if you're a huge Miss Marvel fan and you like uh, Amon Vellani's voice, I think you're going to. Oh, is she it. writing that one? She's co writing it. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I might just buy it just to support her. Dude, I love her. That's that how guy. I felt. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need more of that, you know. Like yeah, I think that <clears throat> that crossover. I think it's good for both mediums, um, movies and yeah. comics. It, yeah. And you could, like you said, if you're a Miss Marvel fan, close to Miss Marvel. But someone's like an Imani fan, they're like, oh, she she's Miss Marvel and she's writing this. I'll check it out. That could be like their gateway into comics, you know, Absolutely. just because. It's a celebrity writing it. Yeah. Yep. It's a good one. I mean, it's, it, it's, you know, if you're into her stuff, yeah, but it's just a character that I, it's a character I really, really want to like, but it hasn't been written in a way that I've been really enjoying so far, but you know, it's still, it's still fine. Um, let's see. They need the to night... get her. Um, my bad is random. I was just gonna say they need to get her in it next to Wolverine. Right, and try to make yeah. her like a mascot, like the Jubilee Kitty Pride type shit. I think mm -hmm. that would benefit uh I like that quite well. well. Yeah. Yep. The let's see, Night People issue number two, Oni Press. Um, not reading that. I like that cover though. Yeah, it's a cool cover. Yeah. Let's see, Nottingham Outsiders quested Phantom Rats Road is still City. going. Damn. Phantom yeah, Road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sign number one. He was at Galaxy Con when I, and like, I just like, that's a book every time I see it on my PC. I'm like, man, that is, I don't know. That's, that's, that's what, like, I love Lemire. That one's just, that's, yeah. a, clank, that's a clanker for me. That, that one I think I fell it. off on like issue three because yeah. I, I kind of saw the writing on the wall at that point. And, and that's not fair at all, by the way. <laughs> I don't think that it would, because he's got a vision, right? He's got to be getting to the end. And it's probably like a great book. Right. Like I'm yeah. just an idiot, but yeah. Yeah. I want people to know, like, if we're not reading a book, because if we drop the book and we're talking about it, it's not because we yeah. like hate the writer. It's just like, no, it's, we love it's you, just Jeff. not clicking. And there's just so many books. Yeah. So it's, yeah. you can only read so much. Absolutely. Um, Rat City, yeah. like Future Spawn 2099, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I like that. that sounds that's cool. That's a great nice. concept, Nick. I like that. All right, let's claim it. Damn it, it's already let's been do done. It. Look, <laughs> crap. It really, really does look like. That's exactly what it looks like, though. Yeah. I don't know what it says who's, here. Who's Extra. on that? What's the creative team on that one? Erica Schultz and Z Carlos. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Cool cover. We'll see. Indeed. Rebel Moon. Uh, I caught the first part of that movie. I haven't been reading the books though. So I have no idea what they cover. Who's who's writing that? What? I didn't even know there was a book. Zack, Zack Snyder is the writer with uh Vasilio. Uh, uh, okay. I think Clark Bint. I'm aware of them. I don't know. That um, movie that movie had great work. great visuals, but it just felt so that storyline felt so contrived to me in so many ways. It's but yeah. It's yes. A, it just felt like cribbed from so that many was a, Yeah. It's like if AI but it was like an M Night all, visuals all day long. M Night Shyamalan moment where it's like he just needed to be, you know. I feel like M Night Shyamalan has great ideas sometimes, but he just kind of mm -hmm. needs to be restrained or someone to tell him like that works, that doesn't, as opposed to like yes, yes, yes. That happened with Zack Snyder a lot yeah. this movie, yeah, and I'm a, yeah. I respect Zack Snyder. You know, I'm always kind of uh, not like there's a lot of hate, but you know, I know a lot of people poke holes in his directing style. I'm a fan mm -hmm. of his uh, style, but this movie, Rebel Moon, was a good example of why people make fun of 
his style, you know, yeah. he did some restraint. On yeah, him. you're completely right on that. I feel like somebody needed to slap his hand a little bit more because yeah. he just got he yeah. got like carte blanche blank check coming over to Netflix from from um yeah. you know the, yeah. the fiasco fiasco with Warner Brothers. So yeah, it was kind of like a little too Do what much. You want. It's like yeah, it. yeah. Speaking of uh, being backlogged, we have Manny from New hey. Plastic News. Oh, you can't even see the shirt. Boom, boom. There you go. Oh, yeah. Station brother, thanks for coming in. Station bro. Saying hi to everybody. Two ninety nine. Wish all comics were priced like Spawn books. Yep, indeed, man. I'm into that. Miss Marvel's good. I know you're a fan, bro. Big Herm. Oh yeah, Herm. Yep, yep. Um, okay. What else we got? We have Resurrection of Magneto. I heard issue two was better than issue number one, but it's. I don't think it's a book for me, so. I think we're good there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm um, out to the context of other X Men books. Yeah, and plus it's rebooting, so like I'm pretty much giving up on X books right now until the reboot. Nick Sal asked if you're picking up Night People. Uh Night People? No, not picking up Night People. I think I I think I saw issue one on my at my shop. And I remember flipping through it and that's a great it, cover, dude. Wow. Yeah. I remember flipping through it and going, that's interesting art. And then I looked at my other stack of like 16 books and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I enough. just didn't know, you know, like the Nick two and a half years ago would have picked that up for sure. Sal, and, if you read it, let, let us know what you thought of number yeah. one, bro. I'm curious. Yeah. Yep. Sal. Yep. 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 Thanks for coming in, bub. Yeah. Appreciate you. Bro. Um, what else we got? Magneto, we got some Star Wars stuff, High Republic and Darth Vader. Not really grabbing those. No, I'm not a Star Wars reader. Um, Thrawn Alliance. I read issue number one, but again, it just didn't hook me, so I kept on going. I know, I know it's an adaptation of the of the book in comic form, so here we go with that. Uh, what else? Thundercats okay. number three and Transformers number seven. So we have the second isn't this the second book or no what is this the second book that's in the, um that's the second arc this is the start of the second arc yeah new yeah. story arc this is yeah, corona yeah. on art right that yeah yep movie? yep yep mm -hmm. curious to see what it looks like yeah here's I'm this sure cover solid, but... mm -hmm. yeah it's a cool cover just everyone kind of getting back together healing up you talk about the daunting, to daunting past, but, um, dude. Like, yeah no kidding Corona style is so vastly different. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, man. Don't I think, think a lot. I'm not familiar people... with him, bro. You don't. You don't think it's gonna work out too well? He's a fine artist, but I just, I just think what um, DWJ has established is gonna be a hard act to follow. And uh, yeah, there, you want someone I guess, in that vein? Like, I don't know. I just, I don't. Maybe mm -hmm. he's evolved in the last couple of years and he switches our style up for this you know i like to try to stay optimistic but based on what i know i think that's a they're going to be a very jarring change to be honest it might be i mean all you got to do is you got to keep his uh the the amount of like kinetic energy that daniel warren johnson did and then just add way more hatching and stop making your lines very precise make them jagged and have like a lot of speed lines and blurriness yeah, and stuff. And everywhere. I think you know what I mean. Like you have to keep that momentum going. I think, like figuratively um, and literally. And we know we know he's going to be writing this arc, but then is the future his future on the book is uncertain after that, right? Like I know I, he's I writing the second arc. Okay. Right? And... This is I actually have something on stand, but but this is Power Rangers um 2016 annual, uh the first annual they had and or. Corona head. So, I mean, this is from like eight years ago. Yeah. But I guess it's, it's not too bad if that's like. Yeah, that's a good example for the um, Transformers. Just like, add way more cross hatching. Yeah. yeah. And, and I agree. Yeah. speed lines. Yeah. Yeah, and speed I think lines. it'll be okay. Maybe, maybe yeah. not so bubbly. Don't make yeah. it so like. But that, yeah, little, yeah. refined almost. Oh, we will get you back. When you get to like the Rangers and shit, that's where I get a little worried. Like, if he's going to be doing like figures like that i mean i guess it'll work but i don't know, you know. Yeah, a, a, yeah a lot of that's to do with bad. the coloring too so yeah true, true, true. yeah i think he could do it he just Mexico. needs to yeah. yeah 
Yeah, you see like all the detail, like all like it's not rust, but it's like line work, right? Like the like the inking on that. Right. Like he just needs to double down on that. Pull out his inner JRJR yeah. and just start like just just never leave the page. Keep that pen on the page the whole time and just scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> and... <laughs> all right. Scratch, 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 scratch. Ultimate X Men. Ultimate X Men issue number two. I, I think it's a book that's very like you either loved it or you thought it was. Well, no, you either hated it or you thought it was interesting and you're excited to see where it goes, but like you don't know what's going to happen, <laughs> right? Yes. I, I enjoyed it. I'm like, uh, yeah. like I agree, like with Link's criticism. It's not, it's not a team book yet, right? But um, I enjoy, I enjoyed it for what it was, the first story. Yeah, yeah. I I don't like the bait just, and switch. Yeah. There's a bait and switch there, though. It's yeah. X Men and it's not X Men so right. far. Right. That that's what I'm saying. Like someone goes into that book, you know, you're gonna be like, this isn't really X Men. It's not bad, but it's not what I was looking for coming into an X Men yeah. book. It could it's got potential to grow into that, but it's hopefully it doesn't take like six issues to get, you know, yeah. it's not yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Slow Yep. Um, what else we got up here? Vampirella hitting the six 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 issue a couple of issues ago. We're on six sixty eight now. Nice. We got some Wolverine. I know guys are loving that book. Wrap up the forty seven on that. And then uh, yeah. X-Men 97 issue number two. Awesome. I think we get number yeah. one this week. I think. Oh, or this no coming shit. Wednesday. Oh, nice. Hey, so. The highlight Bruno's comment. That's so damn true right there. Every, every That is so... I feel like that's that's dead on, man. People... Because speech is so divisive. I feel like people are like almost afraid to like it sometimes or afraid to go one way or the other. But, afraid yeah. to hate I, I, I think she phones in a lot of covers, but when she doesn't, I think they're great. Very true. Like I this is not a cover that I think she phones in. This is like a this is like a that's how I feel about her. that's fire, dude. And when she's on it like, like that, little, sorry, those kitty covers Scotty does are very basic, and you know that's I feel like that's him phoning it in. But people love those. But Scotty is very capable artist. I feel like Peach is the same way. Like she's got a certain style where she just turn something in but when she's on she's on man that like black white and red darth vader um story she did where it was just like all these crazy images um yeah that, that was phenomenal man like when she yeah. really does that like symbolic horror like like she goes all in on it it's she's she's one of the best yeah i know like the electro one was pretty cool the, the, the ones that it's just like a character um like bust and it's a blank background with none of this like watercolory stuff and and like ancillary things you know like the petals or whatever right the smoke coming off the bullets that's when it gets a little bit lazy i think but like when it's something like this you just yeah. add that background it just makes so much Agreed. of a difference yeah. yeah yeah that's what verna is saying when her covers mm -hmm. have complex backgrounds she's fine. yeah stop biting my stuff verna <laughs> yeah great minds great minds think alike yeah <laughs> all right all right we got 50 minutes in two weeks let's 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 blast through this week number three right here um Heard. so we got animal pound issue number three book i dropped twilight i think we're all reading that right so we're all fans yes. of twilight Is that the, yeah that's the second issue, oh, yeah. issue five okay. we got the Great hawkeye cover. yep i think that the transformation of that character perhaps i don't know maybe because it was bullseye yeah, in the beginning yeah, for right? sure yeah for sure World's Finest, number 26, a book that I don't know why I dropped, but I dropped it before oh, the so Snow Kingdom good. Come thing. And then good. I got to get back into it. Y'all read that one in trades also, guys. That's just been a yeah. great book from issue one. Highly recommend. Yeah, I got I got to get caught Is it Mora on our? He's yeah, back on now, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Mora's back on this one. Yeah, and Bond Villain. Look at that cover, man. So good. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, okay. I met Mark Wade in Memphis a couple of years ago, and I got him to sign my Jerry Seinfeld cover for, I think, issue number one. Nice. The Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee cover. So that was, that was pretty funny. That's good, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think Ed ripped that cover apart. Somebody did. I, I was reading something, and they were making fun of the fact that, like, why is Jerry Seinfeld on this cover? Broke my heart a little bit. Batman Off World issue number four. <laughs> uh, cool series. Keep reading yeah. that one. Love it. What else up here, guys? Um, Beyond Blue Real. Book's been cool. It's been okay. The art's been cool, Blue but book? the stories are just kind of like retellings of like, you know, the, facts from right. a file folder. But at the same time, mm -hmm. the, the art has been dope. Is it still that real simple style? Like, yes. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. I read it in a sub stack back in the day, but I haven't, I haven't read the 47 stuff yet. Yeah. 
um catwoman this is like a i, I love this cover because it's just so obviously it's wow. a space cover dna killing it yeah yeah you can go wrong with that. yeah that's badass yeah. but it reminds me of the old like planet comics stuff you know or like the dave stevens kinds of you know what i mean like it reminds me yeah. of that kind of stuff you know what i mean it's, yeah 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 it's like when's the last time we saw catwoman in a spacesuit in space know, with, like, dope, a, with yeah. like a retro blaster you know like that's pretty funny yeah that is dope Carbo Commander issue number three was one of my favorite issue of the three issues we've gotten so far. So we have issue number four, the spoiler variant right here, which is they blocked out the character, I think. So why uh, yeah, so, do that? I don't know. All the yeah. all the G.I. Joe guys are going to be like, oh, I can't believe they brought that character in. And I'm going to be like Googling who, who it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so whatever. Same. Dead X-Men, another one Eric's reading, I think. He's been digging that one. That one's been solid. Darkwing, that's right up Manny's alley. He'll be doing that. Displaced issue three, issue number two comes out this week, I think, or maybe last week, something like that. Um, Dutch X Men. Are you guys reading any X Men? Are you are you going to be continuing to read X Men while we transition out of this period, or what? What are you guys doing, Stu? What do you start? With? I, like I'm going to have to probably wait and see, man. Like, yo, if they put Snyder and Capullo on Wolverine, though, I'm there. Like, I'm. I wanna I wanna get back into Wolverine because I've I kind of fell off the Percy run and I know people have it, it's got its fans obviously it's at you know forty seven or something but yeah. I think I'm gonna have to wait and see what turn because I know they're gonna end up shaving half of these titles yeah um, off once once the sales come back so I think I, I think I'm gonna be on a wait and see type deal I'm I'm, I'm mm -hmm. gonna see which one is is worth my time but I don't know there's yeah. there's a plethora of what is it, eight I think eight total or something. <sighs> Probably a lot at this point with the solo and team. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Same thing. Steph? I'm, I'm, you, yeah, I'm not, I'm going to wait. I'm probably might read like the main stuff. Um, yeah. Main titles as they come out, but I can't even promise that. Uh, I'm definitely, I'll catch up to it before um, the relaunch, but I, it's not bad. I just said I've fallen out and lost my momentum for it. And, you know, I don't yeah. feel like trying to catch back up right when it's going to end. So I hear you. Yeah. Giant size Hulk issue number one. That book needs another issue to tell us what's going on in the story. Um, so we're going to get a giant size right there. Um, we talked about Hack Slash. So oh we thought we're good. I think this is I think this is the is last issue of this run. Four, okay. Wait, yeah, we got to get back four. on that one, bro. We gotta catch back up with that. <clears throat> yeah, I was just thinking that issue three was great too. That, yeah, yeah, because that's the one you put me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was cool. We read, we read one and two, I think, or at least one for the show. One should I know we were one for sure. We might have heard two. Yeah, two is when they fight like the cyber dude who's got like, it's like a matrix kind of a thing. And then three, they meet like a monster at a strip club, you know, and they that's fight the monster there. Yeah. So cool. Um, Helena Windhorn issue number two. That was my pick of the week a couple weeks ago. We got the King, Bequis, uh, Mateus Lopes, and uh, Cowles. Oh, yeah, really, really great issue. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, I hate Skull Crushers, red issue number one. It's not my style, but I a lot of people are going to be digging that one. I bet. Is that from the um, Black Hammer universe? Or is that... it's a it's Boombox? Oh, it's no. uh, from Boom Studios. Um, okay. No, uh, I was so no. Of that one, yeah, that one character from I forget his name. Yeah. What else we got? Uh, Jay Garrett Flash. Oh, Constantine. I'm picking up that for sure. Hell yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's been a great. It's book. got like that preacher cover. What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, it does, doesn't it? That's why I was looking. I was like, is that? Look, that looks like preacher. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I love that run so far. All right, let's go. Kill your darlings, number eight. I'm, I'm I love that series so far, so I'm, I'm gonna keep getting that. Um, I'm so far behind. Is that the one where the little girl, like, she has the mm -hmm. the house fire at the first? Wow. Yep. Can't yep. believe we've done eight <clears throat> issues already. Yeah. I'm they've sure explained. They so. They've explained how she's able to do the things she can do, and they explain the villain now, and they tied it to the old like Salem witch trial times. So they they've they've made all those ties now. So now we're kind of like, you know, we 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 know exactly what we're up against, and we know what our powers are now. So we can we can move forward. 
So it took us seven issues to get there, or six issues really. But that's fine. <laughs> it was it was a fun read either way. Yeah. Um, what else? Lotus Land, man, it's a book I wish was way better than it is. It's it it's gonna be a trade read, I think. I think I have five in the backlog right now. I didn't read it yet. So I think I just got it yesterday, actually. Um, and then Miles will be wrapping up, I think, with... I think Cody, I thought he was falling off this book, but he's credited all the way in through June. I thought he was falling off in, like, March. But I guess not. Um, what else? Moon Man, we finally got issue number two. It's, like, bi-monthly or whatever at that point. I know we were, somebody was asking... Is Batman off world bi monthly? It feels like it is. Well, and it's also got what's his name? Doug Monk on art, who's yeah. not always known for making deadlines. Like, remember, I know he had health, health issues, but he did that green hell with Jeff Lemire, and that was like a year between right one and two or something. So, yeah, that's probably the hold up. When's that supposed to be for the new X Men titles? Not yet. How about that? I, I, I don't they come out like in July or something like that? I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I think it's July. It would probably be like. Late April, May, when they do the cutoff, or it be, it would be like it, it was three to four weeks before. It would be about three weeks before, or something like that. Oh, okay. yeah. So maybe in June ish. We'll 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 have to yeah. We'll, we'll probably run across it if we keep going from month to month. Um, exceptional. Who knows, man? We don't. We don't. You know, it's probably the least exciting team to me because there's so many new people and it's like a weird thing. But we'll see. We'll we'll check out the number ones and see what kind of legs it has. See, it's a, that's a weird Marvel, but that that concept it sounds like a young X Men, New Mutants, Generation X mm -hmm. kind of idea. Um, why call it exceptional X Men? I don't know. I don't know. That's... I don't like how they're all three called X Men. You know, with just right. subtitles. It's like, eh. yeah. yeah, I think yeah. you guys covered that same point. Um, let's see, Nightwing. Then we have Man, Penthouse Comics cover. number two. Uh, <laughs> Bruno Redondo posted the <laughs> like the animated version of that cover he on did. His, uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. It was really dope, dude. It's, shout out! Like I know this run has had its ups and downs, but shout out to Bruno Redondo. Really, a, a career uh, making run for yeah. this guy. Really like leveled up. Yeah. They had some incredible issues in the in the early on. I've I've since fallen off when he turned into a pirate. It, wow, that's dope. When he turned into a pirate, really wasn't for me. But like, dude, they've done a, they've done a phenomenal job bringing this character back to life. That's a dope cover. Yeah, yeah, it's gotten great covers. I just I read it's a lot great of great art. Jamal Campbell did variants for a long time. Like oh yeah, crazy yeah. great variants. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Um, the Prism, very stylish book, but it's a, it's a concept that I just couldn't really get behind, to be honest with you. So didn't didn't keep up with that one. What else is up here? rogues rick and morty not really anything hit my radar uh we have raxon presents thor sam and twitch number two number one comes out this next week that book was in production for years now kadransky actually has a couple pages inside of it which is what initially uh had this book Ooh. which is the reason why this book fell on my radar because <clears throat> i looked it up and i saw his name on it and so i hit him up and i'm like hey congratulations dude i you know i can't wait for you to I can't wait to read the book. And he said it was something they worked on for a while. So excited to finally see it hit oh, print. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think he's got number one. This is the McFarlane cover. It's pretty cool. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting. It comes out this this uh, this coming. Yeah, what's those guys in the uh, animated series? Like, I love both of them. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I love them in the comic series, too. But, yeah, watching yep. the animated series. What's the... Um... <laughs> Rexon presents Thor. It's that so like they're doing this whole Roxon like storyline where there's gonna be a Roxon versions of all the Marvel heroes and it it's a big eye roll. Uh, I don't know what so Al I Ewing, I think Al Ewing yeah, Al Ewing's yeah. writing this one or a couple yeah, of them he or is. something like mm -hmm. that. Yep. Yeah, but it's like Roxon versions of all your I don't know, man. Yeah, Greg Land is on here. Um, I feel like based yeah, off of Mortal care. Hulk, there's so many different one shots for Mortal Hulk. Not mm -hmm. a crazy amount, but there's quite a handful. I feel like that we can expect the same model for Thor. Like it's just gonna yeah. be crazy, all written by L. Ewing. Yeah. Not all of them, but yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really in the Thor at the moment, to be honest with you. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm gonna probably skip those for now. But speaking of Kudransky, we had him on Sam and Twitch. We have something epic issue number nine. We had issue number eight last week, which is a great, a great series. You can jump into that one pretty much at that issue, which is you know understanding one or two things. Um, so there's that, and then we have Spawn Spectacular Spider-Man issue number two. Um, not a Spawn reader, but it's coming out. Uh, let's see. Mace Windu, number three. I read number two. I think that's the last one I'm going to read from this run, to be honest with you. It's just, he doesn't have the voice. Really I mean, he's, he's, it's not Samuel L. Jackson in comic book form. And that's, that's what I wanted, unfairly wanted inside of this book. Because this is like a young Windu. And it's not him. It's not the character that I fell in love with in the movie. So, I'm skipping it. I feel that. Then we have Superman... What else? TMNT 150. So we're going to be rolling into Jason Aaron's TMNT very shortly because we have our issue 150 coming out. Oh, yep. Yo, yeah. That's going to be good. Excited for that. Um, Ultimate Black Panther issue number three. We've been digging Hell issue yeah. number one and two collectively. So. Hell yeah. Yep. Sure. Yep. What else? Walking Dead. The Wash Weatherman. This is issue is number four, no dude. Shit? This is like volume four, issue four, or something like that. Yeah, dude. Oh, gotta get on that. I was a big fan of the first two volumes. I love the I'm volume big fan one. Of, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I think this is a different because like Jody Lee Hep or whatever his name, I don't think that's who originally was doing Weatherman, right? Wasn't it um No, it was uh Lath Jody Lathrop and um Really? And I love Nathan this. Fox. That yeah. covers those look great. Yeah, the check out the first volume because that that was really really cool aesthetically. Oh, Nathan Fox, crazy. bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. Have to check that out. I've never heard of that. Mm -hmm. Crazy concept too. It came out He's years like, ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was like 2016. Yeah. No, it might could have been later. Maybe it might like have been 17, 18. 18. But, uh, yeah, but it's like this weatherman. You know, he's got his memory wiped, but mm -hmm. um. He's a good dude as a weatherman, but it turns out he's a piece of shit in his previous yeah. life, and he's got all these people coming after him, be, you know. And he's like, "I don't know what I did, but he oh, yeah. technically did do it." So it's yeah, it's an interest. And I think oh, okay. I think he was like a scapegoat for an entire planet getting destroyed or something like that, right? Because they were off world yeah. on another planet, and it got destroyed based on something that he did, and it was like a double agent kind of a thing, and there was a lot of weird stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> It's it's a series that I wish I kept up with, but at the time I just didn't have the patience for it. I guess I, I don't know. I wasn't mature enough at my that that was that that came out when I was really early in the comics. I wasn't used to like red right. herrings and like trying to figure things out. I thought things were a lot more straightforward in comic books because <laughs> I'm reading like Walking Dead. It's like how complex. It's not a complex story. It's not like a lot of gotchas in that kind True. of series. True. You know. So. <laughs> um, speaking of <laughs> speaking of Walking Dead, we got Deluxe eighty seven. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, yo, I'm sh a little shocked. This guy didn't because I remember um, this is like right when this show came out. Kirkman had did this thing called like Walking Dead Weekly, where it was like the mm. first you know it was every, pretty much Walking Dead just reprinted with called Weekly and it's printed weekly. But they yeah. only got up so far before they canceled it. You know, right. like I was thinking like, is he gonna go the distance with this one? But I'm shocked. Like we're at, yeah. shit. We're, we've gone quite a quite a ways mm -hmm. already like 87 and i was in walking Dead got me in the comics so i was excited for the deluxe but then i looked at i did the math i was like okay 399 <laughs> or whatever it is times 193 no and then i visualized what 193 books looked like give or take an issue or two and then i'm like i don't have the space or the budget like long-term yeah. budget for that and I, I regret it but like you know whatever you have the trades though right <clears throat> i do that's how i read them all originally oh, yeah. uh, i got the hardcover Sorry. like the black hardcover one through 16. that book's still gonna be coming out in like nice. 47, 47 years from now it's gonna be like <laughs> the deluxe deluxe <laughs> we're not even halfway <laughs> yeah is that how math works 87 times two yeah yes so. that's exactly how it works <clears throat> wonder woman issue number eight what a waste man what a wasted opportunity in the last issue i thought so now we have issue number eight coming out april 16th he was trying to do that like issue he did with batman the double date i feel like he was trying to pull that mm -hmm. that energy off again yeah, it's like yeah. it's like uh, divide the readers maybe divide them again and then by the time you get to issue number 
five, it's like everyone's on board. It's like, oh, we got an awesome battle, you know, and then six comes out or seven comes out and then it's it's like why are we pausing like, no, again? Tom King it. Yep. Anyway. Um all right. I almost feel like sometimes King is writing from the aspect of how can I get under people's skin just a little bit? Like I feel like he gets off on it just so like he like when he looks forward to people complaining about certain yeah. story choices. And not that we're complaining, but it's like based off his uh comment to Robbie when Robbie saw him at the con, like he yeah. you still think I'm an asshole or something like that. It's like he almost enjoys inciting yeah. yeah. stuff with, with like, well don't anytime, act that. like one. Anytime you hear him in an interview, <laughs> he's like uh hyper aware of his of his like criticisms and like what people say yeah. about him. So I definitely think he's he's tuned into that. At the same so. time, <laughs> hey man, if you're that hyper aware and you still do what you want to do. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you no. Know, yeah, yeah. He's written some of the best stuff I've ever read, and and some of the stuff I just don't click with. So, yeah. All right. Last week, let's go through these. ASM <clears throat> Armored Number One. That's a book I'm actually picking up from from Clover Press. Um, this is uh, Michael Schwartz is on this one. He's just uh, he's up oh, in the okay. chat a lot. He's he's put, he's in the community, so I'm gonna oh, be yeah. checking this one out. Right. Seems pretty cool coming out the last week um let's see avengers we talked about that a little bit batman dark ages number two so that's gonna be really yeah. cool i think the mark no russell way. yeah yeah the continuation Ooh. of like the super and Superman uh, space age universe not an ongoing yeah oh no it'll probably be three issues if there's anything like um superman space with yeah but yeah. all red on the art dude you can't lose <clears throat> it's, it's so yep good. yep yep we got the all reds yeah the all reds on there i mean look at that cover that's so sick yeah man I cannot wait for that one. Yeah, yeah. I know Bearded had Mark Russell on, and they talked about the book a little bit, so you guys can check out that interview as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, recently, I think it was about a month ago. Uh, we got Blade uh, with Hill. That's been a that's been a, a fun book leading up to this battle. You know, it's been taking a little while, but, you know, we had to do some pit stops here and there. So that's cool. Blasphemous, a book I couldn't get through. The first issue of, to be honest with you. Oh, man. It took me three or four sittings, not three or four. It took me two and a half sittings to like force myself to get through it because it just wasn't a book for me. So um, what's it about? It's 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 a book I could barely get through. And you want me to recap the no. Um, so <laughs> it's really about a superstar now, but she has like a demonic past and like those demons. There's like a, a sell your soul thing that happened in the past. And now she's got kind of everything oh, okay. and all these demons are kind of coming back out to, I don't know, claim their prize hey, or whatever. Dude. Yeah. So it, it was okay. It was just, I don't know. I didn't, there's, there's probably a lot to it that I was like glossing over as well. So like that synopsis is probably half true. Um, Let's see. That looks like Akira to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> Akimbo. Not sure what that is. Charred remains. We have chicken devils. I can't believe that's still a thing. Chicken devils, man. Wow, I remember. Yeah, that came oh. out like what 2021, 2020, something like that. Yeah, this is number five, so it's got to be like a different volume and stuff. Um, Conan the Barbarian. That's a book that I've fallen in love with. That I never would have thought I was reading Conan, but here I am reading two different Conan books at least. So there's that. I haven't seen any Savage Sword of Conan. Are we getting more of those? I hope we get more of those. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen it. On, I haven't seen it in April yet. Yeah. I hope we do too. Then we so have cool. Crash Down. Oh wow, number four. Yep, number four. This is going to be the um, the th this this finale. And I think there's there was hints that they're going to be thinking about some further yeah. storylines and stuff like that. So we had Ryan on, playing Fable and his amazing friends the other day. Uh, the other Friday, so definitely check that that episode out if you want yeah. some insider stuff on Crash Down. But yeah, That's really good book. Right. Shout out to him and Tom. Mm -hmm. Then we have some Daredevil action. Dawn and Runner Dick issue Tracy. number. Yeah, Dick Tracy. We'll get to that yeah, in a second. Dawn... I, Dawn I, I know. You guys, um, um, I don't just love it, but I'm not there yet. But uh, I'm very excited for this book. Been looking forward to it mostly because of Evan Cagle. I like his art. Mm -hmm. and I know he's oh, been is doing, he doing interiors. Covers. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. hell yeah. yeah some of these covers are fire too like a magazine cover kind of stuff and who's then... writing it is that ron b ron. oh what yep. i haven't not heard of this what issue number one came out so last week yeah the week uh oh 
<laughs> oh, you're caught. <laughs> caught you. Yep. Yeah, that dude. Added. It's a good one. Get on that. I All think right. it was in like my top four for the week, something like that. Damn. Nice. Completely sleep at the wheel. Yeah, it was great. What's that? It has to do with like mechs. Yeah, so there's this portal that opens up above a town, and these monsters come through, and they wall off that area so it doesn't spread across the world. And then they basically, like a Running Man style, they televise the battles between the humans and the kaijus. And they develop more and more sophisticated and more deadly mechs that these people pilot to fight on these things. And this is like the next version, the, the next level of mech suits. And it, they have like the best fighter get into it and pilot it. And we get to see what that battle looks like. That and the, so the, sick. And the like, and I, what what I called it was like the assimilation process between human and machine. So it's like a, it's like a, um, a sensory deprivation tank, or as another visual, are, it's like Neo's pod that he's in when he's floating around, hooked yeah, up yeah. all the wires, and that's yeah. like the the cockpit, right? Damn. So it's it's completely integrated right. with her. G, there's a series called G Gundam. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah. you know, usually in like Gundam Wing, they're like using mm -hmm. like Power mm -hmm. Rangers devices to control them, but G Gundam, it was like they moved their Gundam, you know, they did a peace sign, their Gundam would do a peace sign. It was more like you were saying, they were kind of just as more, um, I don't know, sort of organic, intuitive. Mm -hmm. But uh, that reminds me of that in Pacific Rim, which I was just watching last night, oddly enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm pumped for this. Though. Somebody get the band hammer out. <laughs> get the band hammer. Just read Donna Warden this morning. I appreciate you, Aaron. <laughs> the twist at the end of that insane, book. Bro. There is a twist at the end of Dawn Runner as well. And so uh it is it is it is pretty cool. I have my theory about what it could be, but like we'll see. Yep, Pacific Grim still slaps. Yeah, I need yeah. to I need to go back and watch those. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Then we have Detective. Uh great, you know, obviously. Wow, what a cover. Great, great story um Ron B's on that one as well dick tracy number one you guys picking that up i know i am i can't so wait to check I will, this, yeah. till now who's the creative team on that michael marici's right uh, marici's on this one mm -hmm. yeah oh. i can't wait this is one of my uh most anticipated titles of the of yeah the for sure like the movie when i was a kid the covers are crazy there's a franca via one that's really good um so many great covers dude yeah, that's a good one. Is that Yannick? No, that's not Yannick Piquet. Like, like this is one one of those um, books I'm gonna buy multiple. Look at that one. Covers up, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would that wouldn't be a good a bad sketch idea. That's a quick sketch you could get done. That's yeah. Look at yeah this that's profile shot. shot. Yeah. yeah. Is that get, That's a good one. Is that default? No. Cover a? no oh, uh, so, oh, that no, was the Frank of one. This is the cover A. Yeah, that's the. Um. Or who's no, that for Mio? The Frank Avia one was this one. Yeah. 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 Who's the last yeah. one? Which one are you talking about? Is it that one? Uh, right by Frank Avia. Oh, this one? That one, yeah. Dan. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Wow. That's great. No, mm -hmm. Wow. Trigger yeah. finger, though. Gotta be careful. It's not cocked though. He's okay. Oh no, it is. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a you're worried about gun, gun safety on the cover of Dick Tracy. Yeah, this is not this is not proper gun safety. He's cocked and he's got a finger in the trigger. That's not proper. This is when the come out. Somebody's writing a letter. April twenty fourth. May. Oh, April. Okay. Okay. Yep. 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 All we'll right. I have to plan a certain um pulp movie thing around. That yeah, debut. didn't Robbie? I think Robbie already covered Dick Tracy the movie, but I mean, that doesn't mean, yeah, 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 we're, yeah. We're not worried about that. We're gonna go above and beyond. Yeah, Y'all take, take what he did and then just elevate. No, no, Duke just issue number. Let's blast past that before we get canceled by our by our <laughs> uh, by our master. Let's see, Duke issue number five, loving that run. Anything else up here? No. I, I, you know, Fire and Ice. No. The Flash. We have Fog 3. We're already hitting uh, double <laughs> double releases in the same month. The Forge 7. That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, at six. Uh, I love that book. Forge. I don't I don't think I think I'm the only person reading this book. <laughs> Is anybody talking about the Forge? I love this book so much. I haven't heard of it. It's really cool. It's guys on issue size. seven. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Okay. 
I'm not going to hold you up, bro. Look, it's right next to God's, too, bro. The two books you went to war for. The two books that I'm still reading. Yeah. How is God's these days? I haven't read the last issue. I'm not going to hold you up. I mean, this is my bad. Issue two. Issue two was the last issue I read. And yeah, I got to get caught up. You said seven was good? Uh, seven or seven, seven's coming out. Six was okay. It felt like we paused again for like a side quest, you know, and I, I, I hate that kind of stuff. I hate side quests. If you give me the main, if you introduce yeah. me to the characters, give me the main threat and then just keep going that direction. Don't stop and like go to the store the and moment. like try to pull some information out and you're going to gleam a little bit of information that might be useful later, but like. At the end of the day, why did that yeah. issue matter? Like that's oh, how like I felt about that. Like the the either the first issue or the second one had that like great, fantastic, like you know, battle for the universe type of deal. And he was that trying was to find one. one. Okay, yeah. And then yeah, like yeah. issue two, he took, he took his foot off the gas. It's like yeah. And it was like it yeah. felt like we switched gears completely. It's like, man, yeah. it's a weird pace book. Yeah, it is. It is. It's yeah. Kind of yeah. Kind of fell off. Yeah. This Ghostbusters back in town issue number one comes out this this coming Wednesday, so we get to see what that's all about. I'm hearing mixed things about the movie, um, Frozen Empire, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we got Green Arrow. What else we got? Grim Fairy Tales, Gun Hand, Harley Quinn. Checking for a frozen. Pause. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's fine. Yeah, I'd love that yeah. one. All right. Well. Okay. Uh, Ice Cream Man number 39. Yes. Look at this. Oh, I did it again. No. I clicked on it. Look at that cover. It's a great cover. Oh, it's very yes. like it's very like uh, Uncle Jeff style, right? Look at that. Yeah. I'm always excited to see a new Ice Cream Man. Know. Yeah, that I'm was so forward. cool. Ooh, can I click on April 24th? I can <coughs> click on April 24th at the top and it takes me right to it. Nice. So forgive me as I scroll all over the place. Only uh, if you find this, I'm already dead. Issue number three. Issue number two came out. Wasn't as good as issue number one, I thought. But we got issue number three. This is that Matt okay. Kank Dark, Dark, Dark yeah. Horse magazine style book. I liked issue one. Mm -hmm. I haven't got the two yet. Uh, Jackpot and Black Cat. Kill Town, King Kong, King Spawn. That's a lot of things right there. Maniac in New York. Don't call it a comeback. Number three. Man, I didn't know there was a one and two. What else? Man's best at number two. Uh, Robbie's pick of the week for number one, if I'm not mistaken, from Boom Studios. I got the Ashcan. Didn't read it because Ashcans are annoying to read, but I liked having them. <laughs> and I just got Man's best yesterday, so I haven't read it yet. So I got it'll probably hit my nick at night for next week. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that the is that the John Wick dog one? Oh What's no, that? I'm thinking of some other shit. Man's You're thinking best. Of, that one, though? I don't know. Didn't read it. Good boy or something, I think it was called or some shit. Oh yeah, good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog in the tuxedo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this looks very different. Well, so we'll see. Okay. Well, I got issue number one finally. A new one from Fantagraphics, Mythologies and Acro whoa whoa whoa. Apocrypha uh, Apoc Apoc Apocrypha number one. That's a word. I think it's on my poll list. I don't know what it's about, but it's Fantagraphics and it's a single issue, so I thought I'd check it out. Yeah, for sure. Can't go wrong with kind graphics, dude. Yeah. And then what else we got? Once upon a time at the end of the world. No, very poor. Yeah, I'm getting back into it. I think I got the latest issue in my poll I, I, yesterday. Some books were late, so I got them. I got some of them yesterday. Finally, so that's cool. Penguin number nine. We got issue number eight coming out this next week. Been loving that run. That's an example of Tom King doing it right. You know, he does the same things, but it just works in some books and doesn't in others. So, um. Pine and Miramac, Planet Comics 28. That's a series I keep an eye on just for cover grabs because of the legacy of that book. What else we got? Predator. Rare Flavors, yeah. number five. Hell yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. Can't wait, can't wait for that one. Yeah, that's definitely going to grab book. those. Predator Last it's Hunt. One of the round books. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Some of his books are like universally loved and some of them... You know, are kind of you know, some people pass on them. Oh, there's Savage Sword of Conan. Hey, is that number two? Yeah, two. Uh, yeah. Number? Yes. Dang, Dorman. On the I'm cover. glad they're they're I like making the font. 
more than just one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that looks great, man. Bold. Great. It's crazy. Great cover all around. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that one's uh, $6.99, 64 pages. So I think the price definitely justifies. Yeah. It's justifiable price right there. Okay. All right, Spider Punk, Spectograph number one. That's the Tynan Distillery book. So if you're into his stuff, you're going to get a new number one right there from Distillery. Um. We talked about the uh, Ram V Dan Waters collaboration projects. We have Six Fingers number three coming out. So we have da uh, Ram's book in the earlier of the month, in the early part of the month, and we have Dan's book at the end of the month. So they'll be bouncing back and forth. Django Fett? Yeah, Django Fett issue number two is finally out. Oh, okay. okay. We got issue number one just last week. It was pretty cool. Okay. So if you're into that, something's killing the children, number thirty-six. If you're uh, a prison collector, so you're going to be forced to buy these this run <laughs> still. That book. Yeah, and then we also have, I think we have, yeah, we have prison coming up on a few of them. So, yep, yep, yep. Keeping it on the radar. What else we got? Uh, Darth Maul, black, white, and red, number one. I'm interested in that. It's just a cool character. I think it's a yeah. good it's a good series to get that character That's in there. A, absolutely. completely agree. We need a Danny Warren Johnson, Darth Maul, black, white, and red. Oh. Oh, That's yeah. what we need. Ultimate Spider-Man yeah. issue number four. I think we're all loving that book. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Creature of the black, black Lagoon. This is part of that Universal Monsters uh, release. So we had Dracula. So now we have Rombi. Um, okay. And Dan Waters on this. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, dude. That's going to be good. Got some really Who's cool doing covers the art? for it. Are they both writing it? Uh, Matthew Roberts is doing the art and Dave Stewart is on here. Here's the Danny, 1 in 10. So, I yeah, love you know. that movie, man. Oh, that's yeah. fire. Wow. I got to go back and watch it. It's been forever. I love it. Since I've seen that one. Sad. World Tree number 9. That's a book I dropped. Just can't Same. do it. Yeah. Can't do it anymore. Um, I checked it out because of the hype off issue one. Issue one solid enough. People going crazy about issue two. I got up to issue three and I was like, it's the same tiny shit I'm always reading. Yeah. Each their own. But I, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Same. When when the cast gets like six plus and then they all they all start like hooking up and stuff, I'm like, you guys, <laughs> I'm out. It's like I don't I don't I don't care. You know, same thing happened in the call. <laughs> she introduced like six characters. They all started. I'm like, I'm out. I don't care. They have to have their priorities straight, you know, like the world's ending. And this is like, I guess that's what people do when the world ends, I suppose. Uh, Wolverine. That's true. You know what I mean? Wolverine number 48. <laughs> Anything else down here? Madripoor Knights. I I tried to get into issue number two, but I just couldn't do it. The art shifted on me. I, I love number Man, one. Man, I just, I just um, was looking at my copy of uh, Uncanny 268 or whatever. The oh, one really? Madripoor yeah, Knights yeah. is, mm -hmm. that's such a great book with, with Cap and Black Widow and Wolverine and yeah, boy, that's a great story. Mm -hmm. But I heard good things about number one, but I don't know, man. Claremont's always like, there's like a hint of his former greatness with it with a lot of his new writing, but it never yeah. pans out. Yeah, me. yeah. okay. Well, so. We got X Men Forever, and then we Ooh. have Zorro. Oh, Zorro is dope. What's the creative team on X Men Forever, and what's the mm -hmm. premise? Is it another Karen area? Gillan and yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, Luke is on the art. I don't know. I, I haven't been reading it. Oh, so I, like I said, I've fallen off of all. Great X cover. Thing. Looks like Mark Brooks. See, somewhere. this is where I get confused because they've had like past X Men Forever books or X Men Legends books that are. You know, I could have swore they've had an X Men Forever title already, oh, and it probably. was like a past book. Um, I mean, I'll check it out. It looks cool. Yeah. But... Oh, that's a good cover. Yeah, the Juice Go. Uh, to... Marvel yeah. masterpiece. Yep, yep. Some cool stuff. Okay. Yep, and then Zoro. I read issue number one. I can't believe four is coming out already. God. I think you guys covered number yeah, one. If yeah, we mistaken. covered number one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So this week, I mean, I mean, you know, um, some of the highlights, I suppose. Um, Conan for sure. Crash down for me. Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. Dawn Runner. Oh, yeah, I gotta get um, on. Duke. Yeah. 
I see gods and forge, so I'll keep rolling. Gods and uh, iffy on forge has been good. Getting some cover grabs, ice cream man. Only find this one, or you, if you find this, I'm already dead. Yeah, some 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 decent stuff coming out here. Man's best, some fantagraphic stuff. Pine and Miramac. Yeah, rare flavors. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a solid, a solid week. It's gonna be a solid. I feel like overall, it's gonna be a solid month for indies more so than like the big two. I feel like a lot of the highlights were indie highlights over this past hour and a half. Who's doing what? Who's doing the jackpot and black cat cover? Um, that looks like that um, Hughes? that looks like Hughes to me. Yeah, that's a fire. And there's our Arthur Adams. Uh, Peach. We just talked about Peach. Just add a little background. How hard is that? Just, add, just do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Look at the shading through the eye. All yeah. those covers are fire, man. For a series yeah. that really only yeah. hardcore uh, Spider-Man fans are gonna. Yeah, be. definitely cover grab for that book. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Arthur's yeah, is the one in twenty-five, unfortunately. Different. Arthur's are always 125. They're always yeah, expensive. it's annoying. Expensive. That's yeah. annoying. It is. Well, cool guys. That was yeah. our little walkthrough. What do we got in the comments over here? Rom is better than Paul. <laughs> is Rom better than Paul from ASM? So hard. Yeah, he probably. Yeah, he hates Paul for sure. Yeah, Hermit. I think you're one of the only ones I was that I remember reading that book, Maniac. Elevator pitch. Yeah, how many? Um. Mm -hmm. For Maniac, I know it's like, what is it, like, this third volume now? I want to say it's the third. Oh, okay. Because they had the original, yeah, right. and then we had a spinoff, and then we have the New York one, Where, right? Where's that? I don't know. How many issues was first series, like? Four, six, something like that? Three, okay. okay. I think. I don't remember. It was one, honestly, that was the book I didn't like. So I, I, I don't even think oh, okay. I finished it, to be honest. I, mean, I heard a lot of people loving it. I'm like, ah, I don't know. Uh, elevator pitch, Homeward Bound in Space is accurate. Wow. Okay. Man's best. Ah. I know. Man's best. Okay. Good talk. Bro, I, thanks for coming in. Oh, yeah. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I joined on because I found out a bunch, of, a bunch of books I'm asleep on. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Let's see. Camille Gree, Tom King, and Ron V are better than tying in. Can we unify? Here <laughs> can unify us all. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> probably. I dropped World Tree and Christopher. Ka yeah, I read first issue of Christopher Chaos, and I'm like, it's not. It wasn't written for me. So I'm, you know, I'm glad it's out there. It's just not a book that was written for me. I don't think and World Tree is kind of the same. Um, yeah. Forever series in 2021. There you go. Thank or 20. You, Rogue. I was gonna say I knew, but. But they yep. just like to recycle those titles, baby. Yeah. <laughs> was Substack the reason? The reason for what? I want I don't yeah. remember. I don't know the context Tinian, of the question. Tinian kind of falling off, I think. Uh man, he didn't do anything there either, though. Like I just think it's just he got he oversaturated the market with just mediocre books, I feel yeah. like. And yeah. A, yeah. a lot of stuff that started strong but it ended up going nowhere. And you know, I just feel like it was it was that that's thing. a lot of his books. Yeah. yeah. The opposite of that, though, is Department of Truth. I think Department of Truth, it, it, I think it failed the mass audience because it was not accessible enough. I think it was too brainy. It was too in their head. It was so hard sure, to follow yeah, that sure, book, yeah. you know. So it's like reading it was just a chore. It felt like. So anyway, Tiny was never on for me. Flipped his Batman. He flipped his bat, the Batman. Around. There were some minor keys in there. He was, it was like every up, every, you know? every every issue was like a new character show. <laughs> yeah, the designer. Remember that. Yeah. I remember when I finally read that, and I was like, I think it was like the hype had gotten to it. And I was like, this, this is what everyone was hyping up. Like, it's solid Batman work, but, the, you yeah. know, I don't see how this is. People were, like, praising it as, like, the second coming because I think it was just so different from King's, which I didn't personally didn't mind. But I remember reading it, and I was like, eh, like what? what is distinctly different from the King? Or how is this any better than a oh. King's run? Like, it was very... Yeah. For me, his detective yeah. run was so great. I had such high hopes, like, coming off of that detective run. Yes. Where I thought he did yeah. a bunch of great things with the Bat right. family. And then, like, I don't know. It was just, like, he was like, I'm going to try to make as many new characters as possible. And mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. That's was... the... Yeah. I was pretty, yeah. Uh... Yeah. 
I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm just not like one of my one of my hot takes. We we did a we did a show. Um, we talked about some hot takes, and my hot take was tight in stuff is skippable now. You know, it wasn't yeah. five years ago or four years ago or whatever, but now it's facts. So now now it's it's becoming yeah. skippable. So whenever he puts a book out, I went from must order to like hmm, I don't know. Nah. Let me yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let me read the premise. Let me get issue number one. You know, and go from there. So yeah, yeah. And anyways, cool guys. Well, I appreciate you jumping on here and um, yeah, you know man. hanging out with me and cool. going over these books and everything. Um, I want to give you guys a little spotlight though. Supreme clientele, Stu. Can you gotta give us a little little rundown of what you guys have been doing and um, yeah, well, when's the next show and all that stuff, man? Well, we're gonna go live this new date. We're gonna go back to our old home on Wednesday nights, starting this week. We got uh, the homeboy Manny on the show, but yeah, we just oh, spotlighting. Nice comics a couple uh a few new releases from the past week and then we always have our throwback uh well it was throwback tuesday i don't we're gonna have to find a new clever new name for it but our, yeah our throwback section uh you know where we highlight we've mainly been focusing on marvel in the 2000 to 2010 mm -hmm. um recently we just covered um a, a new avengers with uh with john yeah um and we did wolverine origins with chris from Austin comics this week we're doing punisher born with manny i can't wait to get into that one um, so yeah, check us out. We're going to be, uh, on Wednesday, 9 30 PM on the Dr. Doom's fan club YouTube channel. And That's my brother awesome. Link. Yeah. And then speaking of link, man, you got some stuff coming up too. I know we have some, some we have some, yes. uh, geeks unleashed coming up if not already. Yes. Um, the, yeah, the, the, I think it was either Friday or Thursday. They dropped, um, their book club mm -hmm. review of a uh, man without fear which is really fun to talk okay. about. Uh, I don't know what they got scheduled, but um, Mark, Jasmine, Fable, and I covered Generation X yesterday. Nice. And that was a shit movie, but it was a fun review. So um, I look forward to that that drop. When awesome. they dropped that in the chat, I think every one of us was like, we half of us either said, what is that? And the other half said, I can't believe we're covering it. You know? <laughs> so I was definitely in the what is that category. Yeah. So. I completely forgot about that. That's a great one to cover. That's like one of those random ones. That's just like a great topic of conversation. Yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, we're also um, in the, anything else you guys got going on? You guys do you have any appearances dropping in anybody's shows? I got, we got March Madness. So Steph, you're probably part of some stuff here yeah. and there. Maybe I got a, yeah. I don't know I'm what on, Robbie's next movie is. I know I'm on PCP movie night tomorrow doing spiral with the, I know, okay. I don't know if you're on it link. I know uh, Manny is. And then we also got our um, our uh, best comics of the month on Thursday. Yep. Thursday night with uh, over there on Pop Culture for us. Yep. 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 Look, really looking yeah. forward to that one. We need to get Eric in there now that he's in the comic Same. review game. Yeah, I was just gonna say. That. <laughs> That's that he's, what I was. He's we out like, it. Yep. We were like one no shot. Yeah, we're trying to build that roster for this coming Thursday, and so we had we had some like back and forth, and so I'm like, man, we get we got to get Eric in this in this now that he's in here um stuff we gotta get you on there too man yeah, we gotta man. we gotta get you up on that gotta have my monthly game first. yeah uh, that's I the hard it. part yeah. that's the daunt it's daunting dude because it's like oh. so much like <laughs> I, I was trying to do some homework and figure out what i missed like either like this past week or the week before and i mm -hmm. went to watch robbie's review and it's 55 minutes long <laughs> the yeah like the one from the week before oh my god <laughs> i'm like dude i'm never gonna be prepared for this show man i was like uh, I did the exact same thing. Though. <laughs> mm -hmm. So much. Stuff I saw. I saw that audio early release pop up, and it was that long. And I'm like, oh my god, because yeah. I try to pick. I try to listen to what the pick of the week is without the review of the pick of the week, so I make sure it's on my pull list. You know, or it's on my. If it's on the shelf, I can grab it. Yeah. But yeah, dude, March Madness is happening. There's so much stuff going on right now. This is just a snippet of what's happening. So we got some Dylan Horror Show. He's doing all kinds of stuff, man. So we got Blade in the Dark coming up um i'm gonna run through a bunch of thumbs real quick that i grabbed from our chat so we have pcp we have the beyond over at pop culture philosophers i know that verno's got a whole bunch of stuff going on too um yeah that's dropping today yes, right yeah yeah yep yep, yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. i think here's yeah. your thumb from the other week with lost in yep. comics so that was great um robbie's also doing some top-down work as well and doing some marvel in the 90s still so he's got some uh rob liefeld stuff coming on uh, what else we got here? Eric's dropping his 
on the poll list, his little review show that he does on what Sundays, Mondays, something like that. Now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember Monday this morning, uh, release schedule, man. Yeah, Monday morning, yep. I think. Yep, yep. So definitely check that out. He's just hitting the ground running, man. Oh yeah. Of course, we got Verno again with Jacob Slider deep dive into the madness. We already went over Geeks Unleash. He's got some more stuff coming out. Steph, special guest on Daredevil, Man Without sure. Fear. We talked about that. Yep. And Verno is just putting out all all kinds of commentary on these different movies <laughs> oh, as well. Yeah. So, yep. Of course, we have Herm and we have Tom doing the ASM little uh, walkthroughs. So I've been, you know, enjoying those on the rewind. Those are really cool as well. Of course, Manny's always dropping his insane videos. Editor of the year for sure. Hopefully, that's going to be a, a good category <laughs> in the uh, Comic yeah. Community Awards. Doing some amazing stuff as well. Just so in th so thoughtful in his reviews. Loving that stuff. Go figure reviews. Make sure to check those guys out and sub up if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, guys, yeah, that's just content. dude. And that's just like I just went up the last few days of thumbnails. That's not even all yeah. the stuff that everyone's been putting out. So oh, we got you covered every day of the week, dude. dude it's insane, man. It's bet. insane. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Awesome. Yep. I got to get in the monthly it. so I can be like, I haven't read it. And it's in dude, the back. I'm box. right there with you, man. <laughs> that's Bueller. That was uh, Bueller. We're trying to get him to pop back on. Yeah. Too. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway guys that's it man i appreciate you guys hanging out thanks Absolutely, so much man. everyone nice, in the man. chat it's gonna be a busy month as always i'll try to be more regular with these whenever i can and uh yeah guys appreciate you station Absolutely. everyone Peace. Station, guys. Peace. Yeah. let's get out get manny to put you in there Stu. yeah that's that's fire though i love it's unleashed all right we're still alive we gotta add that next time <laughs> later guys <laughs>